Hi boys and girls, we're ready for another OG lesson. Let's get ready to review some of our vowel sounds, our chunks, our vowel combinations, our suffixes. Here we go. You can read these with me or echo me. Treat, our base word, joining, joining. Oh, I see a soft C. E makes the I say I twice. Soft G, germ. Short, our base word cart, carts, our base word mock, ing, mocking, our base word low, er, lower, show. Let's read these again. A little bit smoother, a little bit stronger. Here we go. Street, treat, joining, twice, germ, short, carts, mocking, lower, show. Can we read these again? If you have learned a lot this year, you all have learned a lot this year. Here we go. Treat, joining, twice, germ, short, carts, mocking, lower, show. Let's read these words again real loud and proud. If you are a better reader now, than you were in kindergarten. I know you are. Here we go. Treat, joining, twice, germ, short, carts, mocking, lower, show. I'm thinking of a word and it's what we call when you get like a piece of candy or a special dessert, a little extra. We call that a treat, right? I'm thinking of a word and it means two times, twice. I'm thinking of a word and it's the opposite of tall. The antonym would be short. I'm thinking of a word and it's something that can make you sick if you get it in your body, a germ. I'm thinking of a word and we use it in math when we say we're adding numbers together. We are joining them, right? I'm thinking of a word and it's what we call maybe a movie or a play. We call it a show, right? All right, you shout the word out before I exit out. Carts, mocking, twice. Joining, germ, lower, show, short, treat. Good. Now we've got something brand new today. A new vowel combination, E-E, -E, comes in the middle of words, sometimes at the end by itself, but mostly in the middle. And it says E, as in feet. It's saying that name of the first vowel even though there's two E's, we don't really hear the second one. We're saying the name of the first one. We know E-A says E. E-E -E says E. So remember when we went over E-A, and that says its name of E. All right, and now we have E-E. -E. So we had E-A says E and E E says E. All right, so I want you to read these with me or echo me. Keep, weak, sleep, meet, feet, peak, deep, weep, deer, teeth. So we're saying that name E. Let's read these again, a little bit stronger now in our best first grade voice. Keep, weak, sleep, meet, feet, peak, deep, weep, deer, teeth. So this kind of peak we're talking about that you, another word for looking at, or like when you're looking through your fingers, you peek out at something. When we had it before, that was the mountain peak, but EE -E is, you're peeking, you're trying to look without getting noticed. And this week is like our seven days in a week. And we have deer and teeth and weep. 
Do you know what weep is? That's another word for cry. You're crying hard, you weep. All right, let's read these again. If you love to sleep in and be a little lazy in the morning, stay in your pajamas, do you like to do that? Here we go. Keep, weak, sleep, meet, feet, peak, deep, weep, dear, teep. Let's read these again. Maybe you like to get up real early, even before mom and dad get up. Do you like to do that? Read these loud. Keep, weak, sleep, meet, feet, peak, deep, weep, dear, teep. Let's read these one more time. If you would rather stay up late, keep, weak, sleep, meet, feet, peak, deep, weep, dear, teep. All right, I'm thinking of a word and it's an animal that lives in the forest. Deer, right. I'm thinking of a word, oh, and it's something I love to do. I can do it anytime, day or night, standing, sitting, it's another word for a nap. Sleep. I'm thinking of a word and hmm. Let's think of a pool. It's not the end that you can walk in, but it's really where your feet don't touch the bottom. We say it's really deep, right? I'm thinking of a word and it's in your mouth and it's what lots of you are losing right now. Teeth, right? This time you shout the word out before I exit out. Keep, deep, sleep, dear, feet, peak, teeth, weep, meet, weak. Good. All right, so E, -E our keyword is feet. Let's get ready to practice. Put our date today. Write me the lowercase letters that say R as in car. It's our bossy R, A-R. Write me the lowercase letters that say S as in nice, but it's not an S. So how do we get that sound? Especially in a long vowel word, it's that C-E, soft C. Write me the Lowercase letters that say or, as in corn, O-R. Write me the lowercase letters that say ch, as in catch. At the end of a one-syllable word, after one short vowel, ch is spelled T-C-H. Write me the lowercase letters that say oi as in boy. And we hear the oi at the end of the word, boy or toy. It's that oi that we hear at the end that says oi. Write me the lowercase letters the other way of saying oi as in coin or coil that we hear in the middle of words. We hear oi in the middle or at the beginning like oil. Write me the lowercase letters that say j, as in huge. So it's not a J, and it can't be that DG, because that's only in, long, in short vowel words, DG, E. So how do we get the J sound? It's a soft G. Write me the lowercase letters. That's a vowel suffix that we add on the end of the word, and it has three sounds, id, d, or t. And it means in the past it already happened. E D. Write me the lowercase letters that say k as in duck. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, k is spelled C K. Write me the lowercase letters that say E as in the ocean sea, or please, or treat. What is that way of saying E? We hear it in the middle. It's an E-A, as 
and treat the A is silent. Write me the lowercase letters that the vowel suffix we added on to the end of the word and it means right now and it says ing. I-N-G says ing. Write me the lowercase letters that say A as in cake. Remember, I hear the A, and then I hear a consonant, A, consonant, E. That E hops over, makes the A say it hops over one consonant. All right, let's get ready to practice some words. Our first word, the base word is turn. T earn. Hmm. Now, this is hard. We've got to remember, I hear the er in the middle, but it's a U-R. And this word, turn... We always have a UR. Now, what if I'm doing it right now? We're going to add to it turning. I'm turning down the radio. I and G says ing. Write me. Let's get our base word. And it's a yard. Yard. Three sounds, but four letters. Yard. Now, there probably are many yards in your neighborhood. More than one, we add our suffix s. Write me our base word, low, l, o. Two sounds, remember what says o at the end of a word? O, w, low. But what if I said, that is the lowest point of all. Of everything, it's the most, low s. Yes, our vowel suffix, E-S-T. Our next word, drive, drive. Four sounds, but five letters. I hear that I sound, drive. No English word ends in V, always followed by a silent E, and it makes the I say I. But let's add to it. What if I said, he drives the school bus? Oh, someone's doing it, so we need that suffix s, drives. Let's go back and read these words. Turning, yards, lowest, drives. Now at our diamond, we're working on that new vowel combination. E, E says E. E, E says E. E, E says E, as in feet. That's our keyword, feet, E, E. Let's practice some EE -E words. Let's flip our paper over. Here we go. Our first word is week, like there are seven days in a week. W E K. Three sounds, but four letters. Week is not a question word, so it just starts with a W. W E K. Good. Our next word is feet, our keyword. F E K. Our next word is keep. Keep. Now you might say, what kind of k is it? Well, we're using the ee. -E. Remember, e is a stick vowel, so we use the k. Keep. E, i, and y goes with the k because they're stick vowels. Our last word, deer. D, ear. Now this is the type of deer that lives in the woods. E -E. Let's go back and read these together. Week, feet, keep, deer. All right, we have a brand new memory word. You've seen it a lot. I am sure you've seen it on your papers. G O O D, good. Let's sky right. Here we go. G O O D says good. G O O D says good. G O O D says good. Let's spell it as we write it. G O O D says good. 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 
All right, let's look at it two more times. Good. G-O-O-D says good. G-O-O-D says good. Can you do it without looking? Let's check it. All right, do you remember how to spell that word hour? Has that same owl sound like an out? O-U-R says hour. Do you remember how to spell that word after? I bet you can. It's a two syllable word. After. After, so we have good, hour, and after. Let's get our paper ready for cups. Here is our sentence. Just listen first. Place your feet on the starting line. Ooh, let's count. Place your feet on the starting line. Seven words. So we start with a capital. Let's think about this word place. Place. Ooh, there's no S in this word. Place. A, a consonant E, because I hear that A and then I hear a sound. How do we get this if there's no S? It's that soft C with an E. See, our E hops over, makes the A say A. Place your feet. Now, feet is our keyword for our new sound. Remember E, E in the middle? Place your feet on the starting. Let's do our base word of start first. St art. Hmm. Four sounds, five letters. St R as in car. Start. Now they call it a start ing. I N G says ing on the starting line. L I N. How do we get that I sound? I consonant E. L I N. You need that E that makes the I say I. I consonant E. Place your feet on the starting line. I'm telling you to do it, so it's a period, it's a telling sentence. Let's count. Place your feet on the starting line, seven words. Ooh, good job today.